let's do a 30 day challenge. In 30 days, we're gonna make your blood pressure go down. Week number one, we're gonna discuss everything that you need to know about the diet. Week number two, we're gonna discuss all the things you need to know to reduce your stress, reduce anxiety, reduce cortisol levels, and help you so that you can lower your blood pressure. Week number three, we're gonna discuss everything you need to know about exercise. And week number four, we're gonna discuss how to manage your doctor rather than your doctor managing you as if you were just a bunch of numbers. So come back every day, take your blood pressure in the morning before you watch my videos, and let's monitor together to see if we can lower our blood pressure. It's day number 16, I'm not working today, so I'm gonna go for a bike ride. I'm just figuring it out which kind of bike I wanna ride. Did you know that most of the endurance athletes have extremely low blood pressure? and extremely low pulse rates. Did you also know that the lower your blood pressure, the lower your heart rate, the longer you'll live? Interesting facts. Why do endurance athletes have this and power lifters don't? It's because of the exercises that they're doing. Now, here's another interesting fact. Did you know that most endurance athletes, professional athletes, will divide their heart rates when they work out into various zones. And there could be five zones, seven zones, but there's basically three general zones. The first zone is the one I've told you about before. 180 minus your age, working in that cardiovascular type of zone. If you were to do exercises and be able to breathe and talk with a little bit of labor, but you're still able to breathe, you're working your heart at the safest uh, zone possible and with most endurance athletes most of them they do work hard but 80% of the time they're working in that particular zone fascinating so what they'll do is they will do what's called the endurance zone which is the one I've taught you about before and then what they do what they'll do is they'll sometimes work in that middle zone but then they'll do high intensity to get ready for an event this just goes to show you that cardiovascular exercise, whether it's a professional athlete or just someone trying to lose uh, some numbers on their blood pressure uh, findings or trying to lower their pulse, cardiovascular exercise is the best. And the great news is you don't have to be doing intervals all the time. 80% of the time you could just be riding in that what's called zone two or endurance phase. Something to think about. So if you are curious if there are any natural solutions to lowering your blood pressure, there is. Probably the most effective one is magnesium. Any type of magnesium that you take will probably affect your blood pressure. Some will affect it more than others. Right now I'm gonna list for you here a number of different magnesiums that you can possibly take. My advice would be to take them all. And there is a magnesium supplement called Magnesium Breakthrough. It's by a company named Bioptimizers. And they have all of these magnesiums in their own supplement. So it really takes the guesswork out of it. It'll help your heart, it'll help your sleep, it'll help your blood pressure, and it's one of the best magnesium supplements out on the market. They are the video sponsor for today, so I will put their link down below if you wanna look and see if that product would be good for you. But either way, one of the best things that you can do for your blood pressure is to take a magnesium supplement. If you have specific questions in regard to blood pressure, your own health and wellness, we actually do Zoom appointments as well as telephone appointments. We do these Zoom and telephone appointments from all around the world. So you're more than welcome to call our office, schedule an actual Zoom or a telephone consultation with me. And what we're gonna do is we are going to section off a piece of our day just to speak to you and answer all your questions. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. You can get to my website and then just contact us. Now there is a fee for a Zoom or telephone consultation, so it's not free, but I can promise you this, you're gonna get your money's worth.